What's up everybody, this is Fred Ricciani of TSC Gaming here to give you guys a first look at Rugby 18, developed by Echo Software, published by Big Ben Interactive. This is on PS4. The game will also be available on Xbox One and PC. It officially drops October 27th. This game is the sequel to the much maligned Rugby 15. And believe it or not, this is the very first rugby game I've ever played. I have very limited knowledge of rugby. So I was excited to review this game because, hey, I'm a noob and what better way to learn a sport than by playing a sport game? I think I could say and speak for a lot of sports gamers and say that, you know what? Playing Madden, playing NBA 2K or NBA Live or NHL or FIFA or Pro Ev has really helped me understand the sports in which these games represent. So I'm hoping I get a similar experience in Rugby 18. Thus far, I gotta say it's a bit of a mixed bag. I gotta do some more tutorials. Uh, I'm not the best at the game by any stretch of the imagination, but let's take a look at some of the menus and stuff before I go into my thoughts on the actual gameplay. You have your quick game option right here where you can play online or randomly or local. You have league where you can start a new league. You have career which you can do a, a career mode. You have my squad. You have the weekly challenge, which, you know, they'll have various challenges where you can earn uh, different rewards. I'm sure that'll grow over time as, you know, people actually play the game online. And then you have the extras, which feature the options, the credits, and tutorials as well as controls, and even some helpful quizzes on how to learn more about rugby. Now, as for the actual game, you get a number of different teams. You get eight different stadiums at the time. I am playing this right now. Perhaps there will be more uh, updated. The graphics, they look okay. I wouldn't say they're anything spectacular. I wouldn't say they're they're better or worse than some other sports games. I mean, I'll say this. They're definitely a tier below EA Sports, for sure. But I'm kind of used to sports games not being, oh my god, amazing, unless it's, say, I don't know, NBA 2K, for that matter. In terms of the gameplay, it's not too bad, but the things I've run into that are issues are a little bit of buffering, believe it or not, like frame rate buffering issues with the sound which does not sound that great so far for obvious reasons. And I even had my game randomly freeze at this time, which is just not cool. So I don't know if there's going to be any more issues going forward. Again, I wanted to give you guys a first look because I know a lot of people who are into rugby are looking forward to this game. I'm going to be working on this complete review all this week. So look for that to drop either Friday I'll try to see if I, I could drop the review maybe a little bit before Friday, but it depends on everything else because we got a lot of games we're reviewing at the moment. But this is one I'm definitely going to put some time into. And yeah, I'd say if you're somebody excited to buy this, but a little weary because Rugby 15, granted it had a different developer, was so horrible. I understand. And you know what? Hey, we got you covered. So best believe I'll do my best to not only learn the ins and outs of this game, but the ins and outs of rugby. And I will give you my honest thoughts on whether you should buy or skip this game, or I guess at the very least, maybe game fly it. But folks, I want to hear from you. Are you excited for Rugby 18? Are you not feeling it? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Tweet us, Facebook us. Do what you got to do. If you enjoyed this update, please like, share, take care. Don't forget to subscribe for our Rugby 18 review coming up. A bunch of other game reviews we got up on the site right here. And please don't forget to enable notifications. As always, enjoy the games.